good evening, y'all. Welcome back to Brews with Beck. I'm Dan. How the hell are you? Special evening edition. Keeping it quiet because the daughter's asleep. Anyhow, the beer we have in front of us is from St. Paul, Minnesota, from Blackstack Brewing. I have never heard of them before. Just happened to show up at a handy market in Burbank. Looked pretty good. Rated pretty good by uh, a lot of people on Untapped. Figured I'd check it out. It is a uh, triple New England style IPA. 10.5 on the Richter, big boy. All right. You gotta keep it quiet. Uh, anyhow, cool looking can. Got the uh, nice shirt and tie. Something I used to wear. Uh, but yeah, this one, I'll just give, give you a brief description. They're basically celebrating Papa Scott's 60th birthday. To celebrate, they they wanted an amped up fog his an amped up version of his regular fog juice, uh, so they used properly hand selected mosaic citra, sabro cryo, and Australian galaxy to hit you with Clarence Clemens low notes. This dude's so stoked you'd think the Timberwolves wolves won the lottery. So uh, yeah, people seem to really like it on Untapped. It's got a couple thousand ratings. About a 4.3, uh, you know, rating on Untap, pr pretty, pretty decent. So uh, yeah, figured I'd try it. You know, I figure I'm probably gonna get maybe a little tropical blueberry, grapefruit, coconut from the Sabro, maybe, and peach and mango from the Galaxy. Who knows? We'll see. That's what we're here for on Bruce with Beck. To really, you know, if it was was what it was on paper, then we wouldn't have to drink it, huh? Huh? Okay. So anyway. Go Dodgers, go Buffs, and let's drink this bad boy. All right. Do me a small favor. The like button that's directly below me. Please tap it for me. Crush it, please. I really appreciate you. And hit that subscribe button and, and crush that as well and the notification bell. That way you can come with all my beers all the time and this cool tie right here. And all right, all right, all right. All right. This one's looking a little bit more like orange juice instead of pineapple juice. So, there you go. Um, I'm I haven't I haven't even had one uh, one beer with my dinner, so I'm, I'm I'm thirsty for this bad boy. Let's let's see what the aroma is before we drink. I feel like I'm getting like kind of some powdery dry hop a little bit. Regular citrus, maybe maybe a little mango and peach. All right, you know, just tropical citrus, you know, usual kind of notes, but with, I do smell a little bit of the, uh, uh, what I feel like is the dry hop from all this tri triple action. So let's get down to it, St. Paul, Minnesota. Maybe your wolves get, we'll win the lottery, but no words, just emotions. Let's drink. Juicy. Yeah. Has a um, definitely a, I would say pineapple. It's what kind of strikes me first with a little bit of a, you know, su subtle orange or maybe clementine or mandarin, whatever it is. That's that's very like fresh juice, like pineapple meets a little. Yeah, I mean, I don't really say it's, it's not like much orange. It's, it's a lot of juicy pineapple to go with just a subtle bit of, I want to say like a tangerine or something like that. But um, being 10 and a half, this, if, I, if I didn't know what this was, I probably would have thought it was just an easy going double, like probably 8%, something like that, because it's uh, pretty tasty, pretty juicy, got the good pineapple going. Not so, uh, not so much on the bitter hops. Sabro, you know, probably is bringing that out with a little bit of like the kind of rounding with the coconut kind of feature that that brings. Let's bring the rest in. I'm going to give it one second to you, about a minute to me to see what it, how it feels as it warms up. Just hold on one second. Dad is stoked. This is a pretty good beer. Pretty, 
pretty juicy and uh, you know pretty pretty clean and just drinkable for ten and a half percent. Now I did find one person on Untapped that I kind of agree with. This person, by the way, finds it phenomenal. He says this is excellent, kind of hard to describe, slightly sweet, very juicy and fruity, which is what I'm getting. Melon notes, some light citrus, slightly grassy, hoppy, but not too bitter, and a little boozy, but another five out of a five, because it's obviously what they rate on, on tap. So, um, and yeah, if I didn't already say it, like, great, great can for, uh, you know, dads to, that I like, like IPAs. Good marketing. Well, well done, Blackstack. Um, but yeah, I think it, I think I agree. I think it does have a, a little bit of grassiness. In fact, I, you know, it's funny is it almost has in the, now that I can really kind of shake it around. It almost has like a interesting, uh, they're all grassy, but like, I don't want to say earthy, but just very pungent, um, grassy smell to it to go along with the kind of like the citrus and dry hop. Huh. Interesting. Me melon. So I agree with that. Um, as far as the smell. Really smooth. Soju. And I, again, I'd say the biggest note on this one is probably <coughs> pineapple, a little uh, tangerine and <coughs> melon. But I don't, I don't get real happiness. Like some people are saying, this is, <coughs> excuse me, this is boozy and bitter. I wouldn't say that at all. Super smooth. In fact, I can, I still can't believe it's ten and a half percent. Literally feels like, hell, it could be like mid sevens. But anyhow, that's neither here nor there. Very buttoned up. Very buttoned up. Okay, rating time. Quiet. All right. So, and NBA started this week, so go Nuggets. Booyah. All right. Sorry, Wolves. <clears throat> so, from on, on my scale from stellar down to, oh, hell no, with drinkable, reasonable, decent, solid in between. Let me take one more gulp, not sip. I mean, that's how easy that's going down. Super easy. You can... More you drink it, you can I can tell the ABV is a little bit more there at the end. With the grassiness note, um, grassiness for the grassiness, but um, yeah, even still, it doesn't feel like it's above like eight eight and a half percent. So pretty smooth. Um, yeah, this is just a juicy pineapple solid. It just brings enough gravity to it while still being ju juicy and refreshing. Uh, and like just a little bit of, ch you know, challenging notes to, you know, yeah, it's like, I mean, look, it just went, to, it's going down so easy. So out of 100, give us a 94 out of 100. So just right, right in the A range of beers. So, you know, solid. Um, well done, Minnesota. If you're watching this, please uh, please send me more beer. I'll, I'll 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 drink more of your beer anytime. And I'm sorry your twins aren't in the uh, you know the playoffs this time. So support our Dodgers. So there you go. Um, that's about it. I'm uh, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this. You know what? No no no. This is this is how smooth this is. I'm just gonna slam this. You ready? Let's do it. Hmm. No, I stopped short. I want to have just a little bit of a sip for the wife. I'm sure, she she would just love that. But that's smooth. So anyway, um, I'm actually going. I, I'm not sure what I've got. I've got a couple Houston beers, but I think I'm going to space those out for Houston Beer Guide. So um, I'm actually might do a classic, the uh, good old North Coast Scrimshaw next, uh, potentially, and. Um, yeah, I don't know. Eventually, one of these days, I'm going to do Rolling Rock with my wife just because she, she loves it. So, uh, and maybe some Oktoberfest. Um, 
beers from like Sam Adam, like to see if I can compare a couple real quick before we get out of October. So anyway, keeping it long, well, like the fans like, of course, but uh, that's about it. Good talk. Go check this out from Handy Market in Burbank or wherever you can get it or in Minnesota, and we'll see you out there. Peace.